Hey guys, sorry I haven't done an update to my rig in a long time. Um, I've been meaning to expand the water cooling to uh, the GPU and uh, just haven't had the time, haven't had the money. Uh, water cooling is uh, quite expensive. In fact, it's it's more expensive to water cool than just to buy a brand new uh, you know, motherboard and CPU. But uh, I'm going for aesthetics this time and uh, so I decided to go with XSPC uh, components. Um, there's an XSPC uh, dual radiator, uh, 120 millimeter, um, with the crossover, um, which is perfect for my configuration. I made sure that it was a crossover configuration because the tubes are going to be coming from the top and then exiting out the bottom, so I don't have actually um, a whole bunch of uh, long tubes going out everywhere. What I'm going to do uh, this uh, weekend is I'm going to um, retrofit into the Antec 900. Uh, in the front, I'm going to do a push-pull configuration uh, mod with the uh, the radiator behind these two. Now, the issue is going to be having to deal with the thickness of uh, here. See, these are the drive bays right here. Now, what we're going to have to do is cut uh, cut pretty much well half of this off, like so, and just cut all the way down because it's uh, it's excess. I'll even have to cut this ply off uh, in order to fit the radiator in the middle there. So you see that, and it's going to be held together by the sides. It'll be uh, it'll staple in as well. And uh, I'm also going to do a uh, complete gloss black inside there. So everything's going to be gloss black, including uh, I'm going to paint the other uh, the power supply as well. Uh, everything will be gloss black, uh, and every all the blue LEDs, and I got clear tubing along with UV blue uh, coolant, and it should look pretty good once I'm done. Uh, all right, just to quick show you what I did. Uh, basically, you see how I take out took off all the uh, basically the excess um, drive bays to fit in the radiator. Um, and then I fastened the drive bays on the side, and the this connects to that. This connects to the radiator, and voila, you have a dual uh, two 120 millimeter fans attached to your radi radiator, and it will be in a push pull configuration. So uh, just show you this before I start painting it a glossy black. Alright, so it's done. Uh, well, the cutting anyways. It took a lot of cutting and a lot of uh, uh, doing. So this is just a temporary fix to see how it would fit. Uh, as you can see, the radiator is hanging there in the back and it's attached there in the back. Now what I had to do was I actually had to cut out the sides of the, uh, the hard drive bays. And then all I would do is just screw them in just the sides because what fastens the uh, fans to the front is the uh, the uh, plastic thing here. So you screw them into there, screw the uh, the radiator to the back. And now let's see if it can. Oh, sorry. Um, all right, there we go. So yeah, you can see the radiator. So it's going to go in up there from the CPU. It's going to come all the way down and back out here to. Uh, to the pump and whatnot. Um, of course, I'm going to be putting uh, a couple more fans on the back here, but uh, for now, I'm just going to take it off and paint it. So here is the first coat of probably three, I'm thinking. But even just having the flash on, you can see how it reflects inside already. See that? Uh, so that's what I'm hoping the blue LEDs are going to do. Uh, and you can tell that there's not that much paint right there in the middle but that's because uh, the motherboard is going to be covering that up anyway so so far it looks great half the stuff in there is going to be filled up you're not going to see anything in there anyway so 
exterior wise this is looking pretty pretty good so I decided to do the uh, power supply as well I covered all the holes and um, so it's gonna be glossy and I actually uh, did tape around everything except for that uh, that portion there that was really bright green so we'll see how that reflects because it's got a blue LED inside of it as well and I just quickly did another coat, uh, coat uh, paint on this uh, so we'll probably do one more coat and uh, get the radiator mounted alright we got the uh, race storm mounted fits in there nicely it's a little odd to install because um, you basically just place the water block on there and then you have to adjust its uh, settings with the uh, the four screws as opposed to locking it in right away. Uh, so I mean I hope I put enough thermal compound on and it's spread evenly. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're uh, we're about to mount this back in the case and uh, do some testing with uh, noise and the radiator with uh, different fans and. Uh, just to see uh, which fans are best suited for the new radiator. Okay, so here is a quick mock-up of what it's going to look like. I have to get the fans. I uh, don't know if I'm going to be using that exact uh, fan controller, but it, only because it has a little bit of green in it in the LEDs. Um, in the display, there's some green as opposed to just blue. I'm trying to go strictly with just a blue theme here. Uh, so there's the, uh, that's where the radiator is, there's the thermal take with the push-pull configuration on that radiator in the bottom. If you come up to the top here, is where I'm going to be, uh, I'm probably going to buy another uh, SSD, it fits perfectly up here. Um, all the cabling is going to come around back, uh, out there, and then up through here uh, to power on that one. And you can see the ray storm. Sorry, uh, the ray storm's installed. For some reason, on this camera, it looks the blue on the RAM looks different than in real life. But it's it's actually blue. It's really weird. Here's the angle. Um, and as you can tell over here, I'm thinking of putting. I'll have to color it. There's the pump. And uh, I colored the. Uh, I painted the power supply, so it looks really good. Um, and I'm thinking of putting the hard drive down there now. <coughs> you can also see there is uh, there's the focus. There we go. There's the uh, 120 millimeter rad. Uh, that's oops, sorry. That's the in out. That's the pump. And the reservoir is going to be mounted out here because it's going to be a frozen cube uh, reservoir, and I want it to be front facing. So it's going to be right out here, uh, and I'll make provisions in the in the uh, cover, the case cover, so it can uh, can be shown out front. But uh, so far everything is going great. I uh, just got to get the fans. Waiting for the frozen queue. So the water loop is going to go. Uh, so there's the pump. It's going to go from the pump to the GPU, which. Is uh, there's the XPS 7970 uh, water block that's gonna be here, so it's gonna come, it's gonna go pump, GPU, GPU in, out to the top of the radiator. Sorry for the shardiness of my thing, and I got a cross flow radiator for this purpose, so it goes right to the top. And then it flows all the way down to the bottom there, exits out there, and I'm going to have the frozen queue, so I'm going to cut a hole here and a hole here. So the frozen queue is going to be mounted right here, the reservoir, so it'll come into the reservoir, come out of the reservoir, in to the 120 millimeter radiator, out of the 120 millimeter radiator, in to the pump and then so on and so forth. So that's going to be pretty cool once it's all said and done. I'm waiting on all the fittings and uh, it's looking pretty good so far.
All right, so I got the frozen Q uh, reservoir mounted, and uh, my pieces are coming tomorrow, so I'm really excited. Uh, it looks amazing where I have it, and uh, wait till you see uh, the case cover go on top. It's going to go behind uh, the frozen Q, and uh, you'll be able to just see the Q sticking out. Um, I also have it elevated because it needs to go behind the case, uh, the case cover. So if you take a look at there, you can see I put padding there. So you can see that it will be just see how the case uh, the case cover is going to go right across through there, and uh, should have enough room to clear. And there's the exit and entry. So that's a 90 degree is going to come out there into the reservoir and then a 45 degree from the reservoir uh, into the second radiator through the pump pump to the GPU which will be the, excuse me which will be there again tomorrow so far uh, extremely happy with the cable management there isn't a single cable there's a strip of LEDs up at the top there and then right here underneath this this side is where I'm going to stri uh, load the UV, um, the UV light, which will then glisten on all of the clear tubing and UV, uh, UV liquid. And those are all blue LEDs there, and all the, the wires are out the back. So yeah, everything's going really amazing. Even my SATA cables are straight out the back. Um, one goes to this hard drive, which is mounted on the bottom. That's my one terabyte and then the other one is up here where my SSD is stored and uh, you can actually have two SSDs up there so uh, if I'm feeling like I am loaded then maybe I'll buy another one but as of now I'll just keep with that one so everything's coming together I'm really excited alright we got uh, all the pieces in and uh, so excited so the loop goes looks beautiful okay so we'll start at the pump here so the pump goes directly into the 7970 a nice tight uh, tube right to the CPU and another tube straight to the dual radiator the cross flow so it exits out here so there it is you can hold on let me tap to focus over there Okay, so there, so you can see a cross flow ends there, does a quick connect right to the reservoir. Reservoir goes directly back into another 120 uh, millimeter radiator, goes through the radiator, and then back right into the uh, into the pump. So we're gonna start filling it up and uh, see how it goes. I'm kind of excited. Okay, so the final build is in. Um, I couldn't couldn't actually be happier with how everything went. Uh, the cable management in the front is as flawless as it could be. Uh, the only cables you see are the uh, power coming in, and I'm not gonna sleeve it. And then you see the two. Uh, you can see this down here uh, just for the power management, and then uh, even the um, <clears throat> the video card. Uh, cables are pretty well done. So the loop, which I'm extremely proud to do, um, it incorporates the thermal take big water. Uh, so I have a um, push pull on that radiator there, and I custom fitted a dual radiator out the front of the Antec. It looks stock. You can't notice anything. It's a, uh, as you can see, it's a um, push-pull configuration, so there's four fans on that radiator. I'll take you through the loop. Um, we got a XSPS uh, 7970 <coughs> uh, water block right here. Uh, and then we got the XSPS uh, Raystorm uh, CPU block, which I am still blown away by the temperatures that I'm getting. Uh, it may also have to do with the fact that I added a whole radiator and uh, changed a whole bunch of stuff. So, 
This is the Thermal Take Big Water uh, pump, and that's actually the Thermal Take uh, 120 millimeter radiator. So it goes from the pump, a nice straight shot into the 7970, straight shot into the i5-250K, then goes right into the top of the crossover dual radiator, down, and then it goes out of the dual radiator, into the reservoir, there you go. Uh, into the frozen Q reservoir, which looks gorgeous. Um, all UV fluid by EK. Uh, then out of the reservoir, into the 120 millimeter radiator, which has a push pull config. You can see the fan on the bottom and the fan on the top, and then back into the pump. Uh, in order to do this, I had to take out all the drive bays uh, for to get the, uh, the dual radiator inside <coughs> the Antec 900, uh, and I ended up putting my two terabyte. I painted it and put my two terabyte right there, uh, which I don't really use that much. And then on the back end, you're going to see the mess that is the cables. I haven't finished um, cable management back here, but on the back where I put my SSD. Um, so that's there and I'm going to actually uh, clean up the cables later on. But uh, what's next for this is to uh, fix the side panel and I've already cut out the window. Uh, so this whole thing is going to be a window and then it's going to slide underneath the raised frozen queue as you can see. I uh, have it raised off so you can actually put the case cover on. So this is going to be outside of the case and uh, there'll just be a window right here. So uh, I'm extremely happy with it. It's, uh, it went pretty much all, everything went according to plan. I've got a UV light up here, stored up here. I've got a bunch of LEDs up at the top there in the back. Um, all cabling is completely, basically you can't see any of it, um, which is fantastic. And uh, I'm really happy with this build, uh, just really, really happy with it. Um, so much better than my previous build.